Here's another quadratic equation that is a binomial that has been set equal to zero. And the highest power of the variable in that binomial is two, so it makes it a quadratic equation. It's in standard form, so it's ready for us to start factoring. Remember, we always look first for a common factor we can divide out. In this case, there's no common numeric factor, but there is a common factor of x. Each term contains x. And this contains x to the first. This term contains x to the second. The x that is common to both of them is x to the first. That's what we can divide out. We can divide each of those terms by x to the first power. Dividing x to the second power by x to the first power leaves us x to the first power. Dividing minus 7x by x gives us minus 7. And we have factored that binomial. We can look at this binomial to see if it has any further factoring we could do, and we recognize that it doesn't. It would have to be the difference of squares, and neither of these terms is the square of a whole quantity. So we aren't going to be able to factor any further. Now we perform our analysis. We, we analyze each of the factors that have the variable. What value could we put in place of x here that would make the whole quantity become 0? Well, that would be if x was 0, wouldn't it? If x was 0, 0 times anything would be 0. So x equals 0 is one of our solutions. Our other solution would be x equals 7. 7 minus 7 would give us 0. 0 times anything would be 0. And we have the two solutions to this problem.